All right, so it looks like Antoine's back with Star Wars stuff. All right, so today we're going to be doing a reaction to the new trailer to Mandalorian Season 2, which is one of the few newer Star Wars properties that I'm actually interested in. I'm actually not a super fan of the first season. I think the first season was kind of a little bit overhyped, and I think that overhype came from people who were, you know, kind of put off by the sequel trilogy and some of the other films and, and material that was coming out uh, for it. I think it was an okay season uh, with some pretty great moments in between, but also some low moments that people don't really talk about. Maybe I'll do a review of that at some point when I do my rewatch of season one uh, on this channel. But let's go ahead and get straight into uh, the reaction to season two trailer. So far, this is an awesome shot. And I also like how it's kind of hokey. It's a little bit hokey, like the, the effects look like it's old timing. I always like that about it. You must reunite it with its own kind. Where? This the child. Oh, we're going to Tatooine, possibly? Oh, they are gonna connect. Okay, so that's probably how Ahsoka is going to, oh, no, Rosario Dawson is not Ahsoka. That was a rumor. Uh, I think that's what Rosario is awesome, I'm not sure. But this is how it's going to connect to Jedi, which I was kind of hoping they were going to not have Jedi in this series, but I'm still here for it. I mean, I love Jedi, so can't deny that. Okay, those are some pretty good effects for TV. Oh, are they going to Ilum? Is the ice planet Ilum? <laughs> Baby Yoda kind of saves the show for me, honestly. I probably would not have watched it if it wasn't for Baby Yoda. This is the way. I thought there was going to be a little bit more to that trailer. I was hoping to have, you know, a little bit more, more story, more visuals a little bit, but it's good. It's good enough to get me to be like, okay, I'm interested in it. So it looks like it's going to be about integration with the Jedi. I think I might have incorrectly assumed that that person in the hood, the black hood was Rosario Dawson because it was rumored that she was cast as Ahsoka, which I think would have been kind of cool because it would have been cool to see a live action Ahsoka. The only thing I, I have an issue with that is that it doesn't make sense for me to have any Jedi involved with the galaxy post Return of the Jedi, um, if if we're having this new Luke thing, um, unless we are gonna start seeing a little bit more of Luke and maybe um, seeing him building up his, his new Jedi Order or whatever. But if we're not gonna have any of that, then it's kind of awkward having Ahsoka there or maybe having Ezra come back and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it looks cool. The visuals are cool. Um, the music sounds great. It looks like Ludwig is about to go in again. Again, man, uh, the score from Mandalorian is possibly, I would even say, personally, it's actually better than John Williams' music for the sequel trilogy. I think it's that good. And the visuals, they look good. Like for TV, like you would think that you wouldn't get the biggest budgets, but Disney is really investing a lot in, into the series because it is right now a flagship for Star Wars. I think it's it's what's going to bring people back into it. It has that more original trilogy feel to it. It's a little bit more gritty with the bounty hunter theme and all that. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I like to see where this is going. It looks like that possibly they're traveling to Ilum because that is a Jedi site and it'll be cool if maybe because we know from the sequel trilogy though the actual films didn't tell us this you have to figure this out from lore and books and stuff like that that Ilum got turned into Starkiller base so it'll be kind of interesting to see if he does go to Ilum with uh, the child to see if maybe they're discovering you know that maybe that you know it, it's being used for the new empire but I probably not because I think it's too early for that because I don't think the the first order comes about this early in the timeline because I know this is about a few years after Return of the Jedi so I uh, will see but I do like the idea of like globe trotting to different Jedi sites and and all that so i'm looking forward to it uh so this might get me back into star wars so you know fingers crossed for that if you're looking for more star wars content on the channel uh, but that's it what you guys think about the trailer let me know in the comments below if not you can see one of my videos here around my face where you can watch more from me i'll see you guys on the next one peace love and may the force be with you always